Okay, sorry about the lighting. It is still awful. I still have zero clue how to like light properly. So I have like a really harsh window coming in. Anyways, today we are going to talk about rankings of my contour products. I've been really into contour products recently and I just want to share them because pretty much the top two are products that I have not heard anybody here on YouTube or like Instagram talk about. The reason I found out about it was through, you know, my usual ways, which is like the Chinese TikTok. So I like to go there to see like trending products. And yeah, so I'm going to share, but first I want to issue a little bit of an apology. Well, it's not really apology, but it's okay. So basically I, shit all over this Honey Halo moisturizer from Pharmacy in one of my previous videos. I think it was like discussing products I don't get. I talked a little bit negatively about this product and it's because my product, I'm pretty sure is a dud product. I have zero clue what happened, but I used it again. And after I filmed that video, I used it again and I was just so angry. I was like, I have zero clue why anybody likes this product. It is awful. I don't see any, like any person on this planet, dry skin, you know, oily skin, anybody like mature skin, whatever, liking this product. And I was like, there has to be something wrong with it. So then I made it an, a point to go into the Sephora store and see if it was really like the exact same product that I have. And yeah, I went into the store and I've never had this happen before. I've never had like a dud product before, but it was, I have zero clue what happened to mine. If you can see, mine's like yellowy and it almost has the texture of like dried out Vaseline. It feels literally like if you have Vaseline, like how it's kind of oily, but it's slippy, but it's dried. So it comes out in like chunks, but in store, let me say, it is the complete opposite. This moisturizer is such a delight in store. It is really lightweight. I, I like um, tested it out in the Sephora store, like on my hand. I don't wanna put anything on my face. First of all, it was white. So not like this yellowish kind of color. It was white, it was lightweight and creamy and it spread super nicely across like my skin on my hand. And yeah, I'll kind of show you this guy. It comes out like kind of chunky and it looks like not that great. So I don't know what happened, but the one in store, man, that was completely opposite. It was like white, it was lightweight. It spread super evenly like a lightweight cream. This just feels greasy. And I, I don't know what happened to mine. I'm just saying it's a dud, but I do want to talk about it because I do not want to slander this product and I would actually consider buying the, a good one, not the dud product like I have here. So now let's get into the contour products. I have six contour products here and that is way too many. I actually really want to get rid of the last one because I don't like it, but I don't like getting rid of products when it's like a perfectly good product. So I'm going to keep it. I have zero clue what to do with it. The first one I am going to mention is the e.l.f. contour palette. This is the powder one. So I believe they also have a cream as well. This is the powder. And I mean, I like the packaging. I like that it's kind of sleek. It is larger than I thought it would be. And uh, yeah, let me see if I can get it open. Oh God, how do you get this open? So this is the product. In here, they just have kind of like a white powder product a, I don't know, a bone color, a little bit of a lighter terracotta, and then I guess a deeper contour. And I just have to say, the reason I don't like this palette and I never reach for it is I think it's a little bit too warm to be a contour palette. I like contour products that are gray toned, like shadows. The textures are a little bit too chalky. They're not like that buttery and not that soft. And because they're a little bit chalky, they have like a lot of flyaway, which I wear a lot of black, like I'm wearing black right now and I hate when product gets all over like my shirt or anything like that. The white one is especially chalky, I've noticed, and I just, I never really reach for it. It's it's too warm, it's too chalky. It's nice if you're getting into contour, it's really affordable. 
I'm not going to swatch this one in specifically because I actually have a lot of other contour products and I'm kind of saving them, you know, for the ones that I actually do like. So hopefully you can take my word that they're a little bit chalky and they're a little bit warm toned uh, and not and not gray enough to be like a shadow. That's the Elf palette. Also, another demerit is that it's so difficult to open. <laughs> I have to use tools every single time. Next five products, I have done actually a really good job of, uh, you know, sourcing the correct contour products that I deem fit to be in my collection because all these uh, have been, you know, I bought off of recommendations, off of a lot of research and stuff. So the next five, I actually really all like. So it's just literally this um, elf contour palette that I don't like. The only reason this is kind of ranking just, you know, ranking these top five ones are a little bit difficult. They're all like really close to each other. Um, but this one is just going, you know, in fifth place, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. In fifth place just because of the size of it. Like it, it's quite large, it's, you know, the size of my face. Uh, this is the MAC Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. I, I really like a lot of MAC products. I'm noticing I never really bought them when I was younger and I watched a lot of YouTube. It always seemed like the exclusive brand that people who actually knew what they were doing um, actually bought. And uh, yeah, so I never felt like I was in the club, but now I'm kind of getting into MAC when not that many people I feel like are into MAC nowadays. Yeah, the sole reason this is going into fifth place is because of the size. I find it a little bit too large and I feel like there's almost too many options in this palette here. I'm avoiding trying to touch the mirror because I don't like fingerprints on my mirrors. There's almost too many options, so I'm a little bit hesitant to figure out which one works for where. If honestly it just had like these four, I think I'd be a little bit, you know, more likely to pick this palette up. I mean, you can't really see it. I, I swatched it in an inopportune place, mostly because I'm saving the rest of my hand for the other products. But uh, yeah, I'll just swatch one. Sorry <laughs> if I'm not going to swatch all of them, but I really like this palette. I admittedly don't reach for it as often as I probably should, but that's just because I have, you know, I have too many contour products at this point. Ranking at number four is yet another MAC product. Now this one I did find out about through Douyin. So this one is actually an eyeshadow, but I saw a lot of girls use it as their contour product. And I thought, you know, it's small. It's not, you know, as big of a commitment as this guy. So I thought I'd pick it up. And it is the MAC Omega matte eyeshadow. So I really like the color of this. So so you can kind of tell this is a little bit more gray toned. Really nice shade just for doing the most super super subtle of contour. Because it's an eyeshadow I also kind of tend to use the co same contour product as well as on my eyes. So I feel like it's like a two-in-one basically. So here's it next door. So you can obviously see it's definitely a little bit more grayish and it's like the perfect color for shadows. Coming in at number three we have the Fenty Matchstick, and this is in Amber 01. I'm actually not sure if the number is updated because I believe since I bought this, they have a couple of other shades. They have, um, they've expanded their shade range. And I have the mini one, which I don't even know if they still sell anymore. But uh, yeah, this is another product that is basically like this, you know, super compact, super small, and a perfect, perfect, um, contour shade because it's very like gray toned. I was just browsing at Sephora and I really couldn't find like any other contour product that was this gray toned. It definitely looks darker mostly just because I have, you know, gone over it <laughs> numerous times, but you can sheer it out. And it's also a cream formula too, so it's creamy. It blends really nicely. I don't know what else to say about it. It is super cute. I really wish they would come up with more minis and such because I'm such an advocate for buying mini products. I don't feel like finish a lot of products. It's also really cute. It's tiny. Cute. Now we're getting into number one and number two. So number two is these two are actually both uh, like Chinese brands. The Kaleidos Contour Palette. Kaleidos Symphony Contour Palette, Contour Trio in light. So they have a couple of different options, a lot of different skin tone ones, which I really 
like because to be honest a lot of asian products tend to slack a little bit when it comes to deeper shades well done for kaleidos for providing a deeper skin option but mine is particularly for light skin which i tend to go for i tend to go for like light light medium so they have three different colors and these are super super soft i love these they they just feel like butter and the colors are really nice too they're you know they're a little bit gray tone like this one very gray tone this is like this is the one that i go in i dip into the most and yeah it's a little bit hard to discern on my hand maybe i didn't actually get a good swatch right there it's very subtle so if you want to deepen it up you can add this one it's super subtle like this is probably the most gray tone out of all of these and then this one is like just a little bit deeper if you want to deepen up that contour because sometimes you do i just really like it they're super buttery they blend really nicely the colors are perfect for contour and yeah the last product coming in number number one is the other product that i i mean it won't become as a surprise because i think i featured in like the last video but it is the judy doll palette and this is the one that i've seen so many of the influencers on doyen talk about i don't know it could be just like a paid you know sponsorship thing but i was sucked in i decided to buy it and really the only reason that this one ranks higher than the kaleidos palette is just because they have four colors instead of three this one comes with an additional like shimmery shade and i actually have that on right now on my nose on the inner corners of my eyes and i'm realizing that this lighting issue is pretty god awful isn't it the shades are pretty similar in the fact that they have like a lighter shade a mid-tone and then one for a, even a little deeper they are similar to the kaleidos ones but each of them like the the light middle and deeper shade each are slightly different like ever so slightly different than the kaleido so i think that like it's good because there's justification to have both of them basically super buttery it has the exact like same texture basically as the kaleidos one i'll swatch it next to it and apologies my hands i just realized they're like super dry <laughs> so here you can see that's light middle and then dark and then oh gosh i kind of forgot already this was the dark kaleidos this one was the middle kaleidos so you can see they're kind of similar but i'll, I'll keep bringing it closer but each one of them like lean a little slightly different and oh, this is makes me so happy i love these like colors i don't do much color in my actual collection my comfort zone is just in like the browns and i'm i'm good <laughs> so that's this palette oh i forgot of course the one the reason that i put this one as number one is because of this top shimmery shade right here and that one is just so beautiful i like it because i don't actually have to have like an additional highlighter it just comes with the palette and it is nice so yeah i put that here and it's probably really hard to discern the shimmeriness but you can kind of tell like my nose isn't usually this glimmery and then I have some on the inner corner as well but yeah they also have a pink one if you are a little bit more cooler toned but unfortunately you know this is the only color that they have so if you are a deeper color um I'm not really sure if this will work it might not work um it might just be for like my skin tone maybe a little bit um, of a medium. Okay, so those are all the products that I want to talk about and I'm really happy with this collection. I don't have any plans to get any more contour products. These are as, you know, all the contour products that I need. Um, yeah, that's really it and I, I don't know how to end this. Okay, so I will see you guys in another video. I'm still trying to work out the kinks of the lighting. It's pretty terrible still. But hopefully one day we'll get there. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in another one.